Okay, guys and girls, uh, many of you have suggested, and we were ahead of you on it, but many of you suggested that we enlarge or make a bigger, that's a, a country boy's way to say enlarge, make a bigger, make a bigger enclosure or pen for our, our albinos for a white deer, and so that is exactly what we're doing. We finally uh, pulled the trigger on that, couldn't afford it, but we did it anyway. You know how that goes. Yeah, any of you ever do something you couldn't afford? And uh, I got my buddy out there. George is back there working. I want to get a video of George working because his wife doesn't believe that he works. But I actually have a picture of George working. And he told me this morning, he said, if you're going to shoot a video of me working, you better be fast because at the, they're, trying to beat the, they're trying to beat the heat. But you can see what we're doing right here. We are actually going to go... We're going to use the buildings as part of our fence. If the deer can jump over that building, I know the cow can jump over the moon, but I don't think that our albinos will be able to jump over that building. We're going to have this uh, all the way from, you can see off off down there where, uh, uh, what's his name? Quato. Huh? Quato. Quato, yeah, Quato. I can't even remember that. Quato is really the brains of the whole operation. He can do everything. I mean, he can do everything. But all the way down at that far end where Quato was, uh, on that building right there and that's an 80-foot building there's a gap in the middle and this is a 60-foot building and then another gap in between and you get down to where the, the deer are and then we're going to go off down in the valley there a little ways i think about what's it going to be now like a, over 100 feet isn't it yeah it's going to be 115 feet 116 16 feet that will go down from these buildings and so down there's going to be down there you can see about down there where uh, george's skid steer is sitting I guess that's, I don't know if that's his skid steer or ours. I think that one's yours, isn't it? Yeah. That's your skid steer? Yeah. You can leave it here if you want. We need another oh, yeah. one. We'll leave it here today. For yeah, me. I know you're leaving here today. <laughs> but they're getting uh, they're getting started. they got some posts set over there, some corner posts set over there. We've got some, uh, some of the supplies over there, and I'll show you what we're going to do here in a second on that. But that will be a rather large enclosure. We're going to have a fence, uh, cross fence coming down in between here. That'll go from about where we're standing down to the edge of it. So we'll have one big pen over there, one here. And then we will have the smaller pen where the albinos are right now. We'll use that as a nursery. Uh, I always intended for that to be a nursery for rescue deer that were going to die that we saved, like uh, Wild Child and, and Lucille and a little whitey and a little whitey will actually they'll probably move into there until they get big enough to turn out on their own but you can see uh quato and uh and george that uh, they're measuring down there you can see just how big that thing's going to be they're trying to square that around setting all the corner posts so that's how big the pen will be it'll be a really large enclosure they'll be able to run even with the cross fist in here most of the time the middle gate will be open they can do lots and lots of running in here and and, uh, and really ha have an enjoyable time. As you can see also, there's lots of lots of trees that will be in this, and so they're gonna have a lot of shade. Uh, as I'm starting this video out right here, it's about noon, so you can see how much shade we have at noon with the sun right overhead. We got shade in the morning uh, from the buildings, shade in the evening from the trees, and they're gonna have a lot of shade because albinos like a lot of shade. We might even end up putting uh, Lucille and little Jenny in here with those two little white bucks and, uh, this fall during the, the rut and let them live in here with them for a, a month or two and see what happens and we'll see we'll just see everything's a moving target when you're raising deer because the biggest chore you got and the thing you got to do all the time is keep them alive you got to keep them alive and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do uh, people would be amazed absolutely amazed if they knew the mortality rate of white-tailed deer out in the wild coyotes get 40 over 40 percent of the fawns baby fawns every year in just about every state in the nation. Uh, they've done a lot of testing, a lot of surveys, and that figure comes in around 40 to 50 percent. So uh, we have better, much, much, much better success ratio, obviously, raising deer in the enclosures and then turning them loose. So anyway, this is a start on the new albino pen. I'm going to be gone uh, uh, quite a little bit while they're building this. So I'll try to kind of keep you posted as we go on, do a little video on building pens for uh, Prince Charming and Snow White and Casper and ice and hopefully quite a few more baby albino deer okay i had to come out here and video this because uh, george and, and quato are putting down all the poles uh before the work starts of adding the uh, panels i'll show you what we're doing on those panels here in a minute because that's kind of an interesting deal and i might not be here when they do the panels but uh, he's using this pole driver on that skid steer uh to drive these in and uh they are just being driven in the ground you see how long that pole is 
and that pole's going to be the same height as that, that other pole right there. And right there is where the center fence is going to go through. You can see that's that pin on the other side is going to be, that's the size it's going to be. I'll be sta I'm standing in this one over here. And there'll be a gate, there'll be a gate right there. So we'll have a gate that will, uh, that will open and we can leave open and let the deer run the entire pin. Or we can close it and have a big... You can see what's going on over here. He's just going to drill that down with that pole driver into the ground. And I'm telling you, when it's in there, buddy, it's in there several feet. This ground is like drilling concrete right now. But you can see what's going on there. Now he's got it pretty crooked right now, but he'll put a level on it. And he'll straighten that up here in a minute. I hope he puts a level on it. <laughs> here we're going to go. We're going to get a level over here. He's going to measure everything. He's eyeballing right there to line everything up. But that pole will be perfectly straight. You can see as you walk down here just a little bit and look. That's the other corner you see down there on the other side. See that corner down there? He's drilling that pole. Now he's gonna have to put a, he'll put a, he'll put a level on that to make sure that's straight. Make sure it's perfectly lined up. And, uh, and he'll drill that pole down to where it's the same same as this other pole. Straighten it up right there. Eyeball straighten it up. Now he'll find a he'll have a level laying around here somewhere. He's moving over to straighten it up. <laughs> Slipped off. <laughs> But that will be perfectly straight when he drills it in. He's still got another couple foot to go. He knows that he's gonna have to, he's probably gonna push that over a little bit with the skid steer. He'll get that straight, get the level on it all the way around. We'll be lined up perfectly and that pole will be in. And all of these poles will be built all the way around. He gets to there then, things are gonna go pretty fast. So walk up here and I wanna show you this right here because this is a pretty cool way to, to build a high fence. These are square, small square, cattle panels and that's 16 foot long and that is five foot high those are five foot high I think they're five one two yeah we, we were getting those in fours they're building them now in fives and so we went in and got five foots those cost 80 some odd bucks a piece you know close to ninety dollars a piece and uh, and they're 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 the what's going to go on the bottom of this enclosure all the way around and then there'll be regular wire over the top of it to make it build it up to an eight foot fence. But that way the babies can't get through the bottom. There's no critters can get through the bottom that's big enough to hurt anything. And uh, it will be a really, really good looking fence. It's up here around the house where guests will be looking at it and stuff. So it'll be a really good looking fence. That will go all the way around the bottom of the enclosure and then let a fence on top. That will be welded to the metal poles. So it will be an outstanding fence. A little bit more expensive to build one that way but it makes you an outstanding and it makes you a really really pretty fence to look at as well okay we're still drilling pipe and you take a look at you take a look at these this is amazing you look at down there and you see that one lean up against the tree how far that is these are about four or five feet in the ground uh you, you take a, you take a look at that right there you see the collar see the collar on that on that pipe see where that collar is that's over six foot where that collar comes down he's coming down to hit that collar right there see that green collar on the top of that right up there zoom right in on that I know I'm shooting into the sun but that green collar right there on the top of that that is going to go all the way down to just above ground level so you can look at that that's taller than George Jordan's probably 6'1 or 6'2. All of that right there will be in the ground. That goes down. That, that post driver right there is going to drive that thing all the way down that, that pipe. I'll show you another collar over here. I'll show you another collar over here in a minute. But you can see that it's over 6 foot in the ground. You look at the other collar right over there. See 
that green collar on that. That's the same type collar that is on that other post. So that's how far that is in the ground. About over six feet. Over six feet. Now you can look and see up here how far we are coming down uh, below the, the current pin. And then we're going all the way over to the road. You can see how far that is over there. You see the line of post that we have going there. So that is going to be, and we've got a cross pin that's coming down behind that building. It's going to be a really, really, really large pin here for the uh, albino. guys and girls we're back to work on the fence you can see we got a little bit bigger crew today we got gates on the trailer out there ah uh, there's George right there giving the, giving the all's good sign right there we got 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 a little bit bigger crew than the two-man crew we had to begin with George just wanted to get this job started then he's gonna turn it over to the guys that really get the work done how's it going Jimmy it's going good very good how much rain did we get not enough. 1.5 inches. How much you get at your house? Ah, uh, we got about two inches. Yeah, well, that's not bad. Everything that, went down south from us. I know it. All of it was south. We needed yep. it here. You got yep. a good crew here this morning. Yes, we're going to try to knock it out. Good deal. I see you got the gates here. Yep. That's good. I'm here to video. Yes, sir. Looking good. Looking good. Just a little quick check on our albino fence building project. And you can see that the... the uh, that's Quato down there, I think. You can see that the uh, 
poles are turning green all of a sudden, magically turning green. You got a gate down there that'll go right there in that corner. Things are progressing all the way around. George got somebody here now that'll do some work. <laughs> I get to take it easy today. Ah, <laughs> I actually have a picture, a little short video of George working. Uh, I did last long, did I, 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 say, I send it to his wife every time she gets to complain. And <laughs> Help my buddy out. <laughs> so we're gaining. As you can see, things are moving right along out there. We're welding on the fence up there. You're not supposed to look at welding without the mask on, so I don't know if it hurts on video or not, so I'm just going to center that. Got to take a look there. So we're welding on that fence right there. Gonna we'll leave that leaning tree inside the pen because we just love that tree. The kids love to play on it. The deer might walk up, but I don't know. As we move around, we kind of take a little look down there. We can see that the pen is definitely taking shape. They're uh, hanging a big gate down there. It's a 12 or 14 foot gate. Got a little fire going so we can have a little roasted wieners or marshmallows or make some s'mores, whatever we want to do. You can see that the pen is taking shape rapidly today george has got a lot of help out here and that makes a difference in fact i don't see george george must have, no he's over there in a the yellow shirt isn't he got a nice little fire going there i love i love fires i'm telling you we got a fire going out here it's a beautifully cool day out here today perfect day to be working on this and that fire gorgeous it's kind of like looking at water isn't it and if you're looking at water a fire on the edge of water oh my goodness it's perfect for a country boy. Got just a little breeze blowing out here. We may get some rain today. We got a 40% chance, so that means that 60% of the area won't get rain. We are normally in that 60%. As you can see, we got a big, beautiful gate going up there. All of the poles that we put in so far, we've got painted, beautiful green to match everything. This is just gonna be a, a heaven for my albinos. I know it's a lot of money, but Golly, it's just what we're doing, what we're having to do to give them some room. I just don't like them in that smaller area. We're gonna get a little herd of albinos and pie balls going here, hopefully. We'll see what happens. You know, a lot of people spend their money on whiskey and cigarettes and alcohol and gambling and all kinds of stuff, drugs and dope. I spend mine taking care of animals, taking care of my beautiful wife, Chris working 70 or 80 hours a week doing it so this is uh this seems like silly money to a lot of people but i think the way other people spend some of their money is silly at times so <laughs> that's going to be the bottom right there we noticed that that's one of the first things we unloaded those are uh, 16 foot five foot tall cattle panels we put wire on top of that and it's going to be nice but here we are we'll check back in a little while George and the crew have left, but you can see that uh, quite a bit has been done today. Uh, all of the poles are up. Uh, the poles have all been painted green. I'm standing right here by the cattle panels. These are small square cattle panels, 16 foot long, five foot tall. And uh, that is what's up, uh, that's what's up there. And they're actually welding those to those poles. So they're on there good and steady. Now another four foot of wire will go on top of that right there and, and that'll be That'll create the high fence. You can see that they've got great corner posts everywhere. We've got a gate down here. And we've got the cattle paddles laid out. It's really a great way to fence. A little bit more expensive, but just a great way to fence. You can see that we've got that laid out down here. And if you go around here, and the great thing about it is I've got a lot of room for the deer and the turkey and everything to travel in that bottom right there. Actually, what I'm blocking off here is something that we can't really see much deer out here anyway and uh, of course we're going to have the white deer we'll have a really really huge enclosure uh, we'll be able to separate the bucks out from prince charming so he won't harm them when the rut gets started and they get kind of crazy acting and we might put a couple of does in here our buck doe ratio is more bucks than does it's really more than a one-to-one -one ratio down around the house here for sure but we have more as the food gets a little scarce, we get toward a little closer to rut. Uh, you can see the turkeys off down there. But you can see that fence land, that's the fence where all that fence is laying. That will be the enclosure. And uh, you can see Prince Charming and Snow White over there with Casper and Ice. 
They're just beautiful, beautiful deer. And those deer will, of course, have a big pen. The babies will have a pen their own. And we might put Wild Child and Lucille in there with them this fall and see what happens. Uh, they might be big enough to breed. They might not. We'll just see what happens. Wild Child is sure going to be big. But then when you take a look, you can see just how big that pen is. Uh, go over there, and you can see they've got the cattle panels laid out all the way over there. You can see that it's just a really large size. Look at those turkeys over there. Is that pretty or is that pretty? My goodness, I love it. But you can see that it's just really a, that's a pretty fast pan right there, but you can see a really large pen or enclosure, whatever you want to call it. I just didn't call it a pen because that's what it is. They're pinned up. They're enclosed in. And the buildings, of course, then, 80-foot building, a gap, a 60-foot building, and a gap, and then a, uh, I think, 30-foot building right over there. So uh, all of that building is, is working as a high fence also. So it's actually a pretty clever little plan we have here. And uh, that's all it's done today. We'll kind of show you a little bit what gets done tomorrow. It's going to look quite a bit different after they get another eight or ten hours on it.